Hello, my soccer universe. The Euros are approaching and international break is approaching. And that means only one thing. We are getting new jerseys. We get a new look at the new templates from Adidas, Nike, Puma, all the big hitters. And for Adidas and Nike, the leaks have been floating around. And now that we're getting close to release date, we're actually getting quite some good leaks as well. And I thought let's make a video and I want to start first with the Adidas side of things because I think this is the little bit more contentious one overall. As always, I'm basing all the what I'm saying here on leaks that I got from footy headlines. So uh, it might be that in match all these look much nicer uh, or it all makes a little bit more sense than if you just see them laid out flat in front of you and usually you only get a front view. Uh, case in point, the, most of the Adidas jerseys that have been released for the last World Cup and I looked up on them on the front, they looked all really cool, very nice, very bespoke designs, interesting stuff. Then you turn them around and there were these ugly patches on the side, which still bug me and I, it seems that I'm the only one, but you know, I will keep uh, banging that drum. So let's look at what Adidas has given us for the Euros. And you know, with the Euros being held in Germany, it's kind of prime Adidas needing to show off in their home country, big time. And before we go into the shorts themselves, just a few trends that I have observed. I think Adidas kind of wants to hark back potentially to the World Cup in 2006, although the, some of the overall specifications remind me more of the 2004 uh, Euros in a way which kind of would, would make sense and there is an overall Euro 2004 theme going on with Adidas anyway with releasing the ball and so on. We see going back right 20, 20 years ago the re-emergence of patches that need to be colored uh, differently. We have the two thorns coming up from the sides which of course will be very visible and this is something I really don't like much less so are some patches here uh, um, on the shoulders that for some shirts are colored or not. If it's in the same color, I think that's all right. Uh, we have relatively basic colors uh, that I don't mind at all. Uh, we have, of course, the three stripes. Uh, the big teams all got bespoke designs. Another big feature there is that all the jerseys, the home and the weight jerseys, share a common uh, print on pattern, which may work more or less for either of these teams. And then there's another one. Relatively simple home jerseys, but making a splash. But overall, relatively simple. But then the away jerseys that could actually be standings for goalkeeper kits. I cannot describe it in any other way, which is really, really, really weird. And in some cases, I feel that some of the away jerseys probably would be better as third jerseys, in a way. I will start, let's go alphabetically and let's start with one of those teams that is very well discussed and uh, you know, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, that's Belgium, who go with a darker shade of red. And this reminds me so much of Russia. When Adidas took over Russia in 2009, Russia were playing, had just switched from uh, white home jerseys to this bright red home jerseys and Adidas come in and make it dark red. Now they do the same thing for Belgium and this Belgium home kit egg actually has all the things on display. You see the thorns coming up from our front bottom in kind of golden. Then you have the black patches here on the shoulder. So that already I do not like. I think if this was just plain dark red, I could get on board. Um, a little bit more, let's just put it that way. What saves it is that it actually works well with the new Belgian Federation logo in a way. Um, not sold also on that the main accents are black on top, but then you have these golden thorns. I, I keep slivers, thorns, whatever you want to call, call them. Come, come up. I find this a little bit weird. And then the, uh, the pattern that's on, there is this kind of diamond pattern with a 3D effect. I think that actually looks quite cool. Uh, and make, gives the jersey a whole lot more interest. But overall, it's to me, when I saw this one, it's a mad jersey. For me, Belgium should, should, should be, first of all, the choice of color should be a bright red. And then that every patch is accented and highlighted really ticks me off. The away jersey, the Tintin jersey. I personally don't know much about Tintin. Yes, I've, I've read comics, but Tintin was never one, one of mine, but one. So yeah, it makes sense. This is based on Tintin. 
that's cool. It's a cool reference. However, the jersey A, as I said, looks like a gold a good goalkeeping jersey. Uh, it has the nice color, of course, going back to Tintin. But my main complaint with that one is we have a very dark home jersey. Yes, this is a bright blue, a sky blue, but is this really a good contrast? I think this would work. Make a white one of this as an away jersey and release this Tintin jersey as a third special jersey. This is where I don't quite get what they're going for. Um, and also, I think the jersey would be an absolute stunner. I mean, we have the golden numbers and everything. That looks really, really cool. But again, these patches from the bottom. Uh, if that's not there, we have actually a really good looking, decent jersey. But this way, meh. It kind of cheapens the look. This is the thing that I didn't like in the, in the 2000s when we went from rather, uh, you know, the 80s and so on. We had rather plain looking jerseys from before and then we needed every little ventilation patch needed to be highlighted and we're falling back into that trap. And to me, it cheapens the look of the jersey. The jersey looks way more classy if it's kept all kind of in the same, um, uh, you know, all in the same color. We don't need to have these random patches. So that's Belgium. I think kind of a so and so. I think the away jersey, there is potential there. Again, the color. Is it really a contrast? Yes, it's different. It's different, I guess. Uh, then we go to probably the highlight in a way. That's Germany, the home jersey. Uh, again, black. Shall I call them thorns, shards, whatever black shards coming up from the bottom. That might be the one thing that's not so cool. But there's an overall imprint pattern that has very much USA 94 in there. Also, the pattern is on the shoulders where we have the German flag pattern. Uh, and that to me is outstanding. This shards aside might be the best Germany kit in quite a while. I absolutely love that we have the shoulders below the three stripes that I invite. It makes it really look cool. Uh, maybe bonus would, would, would be, you know, the DFB uh, logo has these three um, sections, which of course should spread, represent the flag. Make the flag here too. Just saying, I think this uh, would make a little bit more sense than in having this non-solid circle or drop this out the outline. That's a different thing. But uh, the way that the uh, colors tra transition is very much in this diamond pattern that we had also on the USA 94 uh, jersey. So in that sense, I really, really lo love it. And I don't mind that the color is only black here on the sides and it doesn't go on the front because it really makes sense. Keep the shards, make them in white. And we have a real winner here. I still think it's a super strong jer jersey. This might be the best thing coming uh, that we will see from Germany at the entire Euros. But uh, it gives me true Adidas vibes for Germany. So there you go. The away jersey though is a completely different thing. I mean, first, uh, the colors are never seen before in a Germany jersey. There's also a fade effect in there that I'm not so sold on. And then again, the shard are coming within the colors from the upper part. I know. All these big tournaments are a big fair for the big suppliers and they want to show off whatever they have. Just doesn't quite work for me. I actually think for Germany jersey, yes, it's probably modern and youthful. Uh, the color scheme doesn't do it for me. It's kind of a weird one. And then we come with the saddest part of the entire video, which are the Italy jerseys. First of all, let me reiterate, Italy shouldn't, uh, any German brand should stay away from Italy, bar none. It has, has to be said. But it gives us something that we all wanted from an Adidas Italy jersey. A blue jersey and we have the three stripes in the Italian flag colors. Brilliant. Brilliant. But then make the color solid blue. Don't add the other white line. Don't give us the shards. And please get rid of this ugly or fugly logo that you came out with. These are my main complaints. And then it has this eye dot. I mean, it looks, I heard it referred to as a matrix you know, from, 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 from the movie pattern. It's basically eyes that are with the dot, dotted eyes that are printed all over, which also is kind of a little bit meh. Um, I was not a huge fan of the Italy home jersey, the first one by Adidas. But there were some nice things about this. This one's a downgrade. 
This one is absolutely a downgrade to me, although it has the three stripes in three, three different colors, which is something that everyone wants want, want to see. But the rest of the shirt, meh, the good thing is it has the right color. I think this bright blue for Italy really works out. So I guess this just puts it above the top. Uh, there are so many things, uh, you know, especially the sharks that make it look cheap. And then when you look at the awagers, again, goalkeeper kit. I mean, we already said it for the Germany awagers. I should have said it here. But this also looks, looks like goalkeeper kit. And here, every little Adidas detail is colored. And colored in such a full pattern that, you know, you have the blue center. You know, it's a white jersey. We have the blue center. Then we have one side red, one side green. It looks cheap. This is well, this is this is absolutely awful. I mean, uh, this should not even be considered being worn by any Italian. Italians are all, all all about class. This is German standard clothing, which is the diametrically opposite of uh, Italian style. Bah! I mean, France probably were having a few uh, weight jerseys back when they were with Adidas. And I think uh, if France were having it, we would have one a blue side, one red, red side. But it actually would make more sense. Blue and red. But we have here <laughs> the red, we have the green, and we have the blue in the middle. Uh, please decide on something. I mean, it's just a color mess. And it just doesn't work. I It is one of the worst jerseys that Italy have ever, ever worn. Cannot tell you how much I, I'm hating on this one. And then the last one we look at is Spain. And I think the Spanish home jersey, there is something about it. I mean, they got rid of all the navy, so it is kind of the red, with a little bit of yellow in there. Um, gives me China vibes. Let's be frank about it. But when I look about this jersey that they had for uh, the World Cup in 2006, all right. It's not great. But I think it's an okay jersey, and I think here also the color makes some sense because there's a little bit Spanish flag in there. So, and then I think the overall pattern might be the best of all the jerseys there that we've seen so with the wavy pattern makes it in interesting. For if Spain would keep their old crest with a little bit more color, I think this would also make it a little bit more interesting. This shirt, but um, it's average, it's okay. As I said, it has a few redeeming things, and here even the shards don't bother me that much because they add a little bit more because the, uh, the jersey otherwise is relatively plain. Uh, where Spain lose me big time is with another goalkeeping jersey, uh, the away kit. In a very bright yellow, I mean, at least there's contrast there, with uh, as opposed to Belgium, but the color scheme is so off. So, yeah. I have to say, Adidas doing Adidas things. I mean, this is, uh, I guess, when you play in Germany, everyone should have German fashion. And this time, Adidas really notched down the class button, which they, for instance, this jersey, I think, looks really class. We don't have any class jersey from Adidas in there, maybe with the exception of the Belgium away kit. Um, and I think they gave them a very Adidas Germany home jersey, uh, which kind of fits. But... Overall, usually the Euros have better kits. This time Adidas. Da. Why do I think this looks a little bit of a Euro 2004? Because you know, remember the Adidas kits Euro 2004 had this ugly patchy on the back. Now we have it on the front. So yeah, there, there you go. So yeah, I'm kind of meh on this. I really only hate the Italy away jersey. That is absolutely awful. I think the general the away jerseys are a downgrade, except for Belgium. In Belgium, it's the opposite. I don't like the home jersey. I guess they didn't want to release another Spain kit for Belgium. That's all my thoughts on it. What do you think about the Adidas jerseys this time, 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 time around? Do you share my view or do you actually like, like them? I also think, despite the ugly patches on the back, the ones for the World Cup were better. A lot better. Even the ones for the previous World Cup were a lot better. I would even say for the last Euros they were better. But it's always happening this way. I always see newly released shirts and, uh, you know, they need to grow on you. These, these uh, especially the Italy jerseys, they're not... They, the Italy jerseys, and I think um, if they will have stuck with the crest that they won the Euros in last time, this would improve the look of the Italy jersey a whole lot. I still think Adidas in Italy just don't jive. Any case... Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment what you think. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.